Welcome back as we continue our trip around Lake Huron in Ontario, Canada. At this point, we've made it from Grand Rapids, Michigan, all the way up to Algonquin Providential Park. So we're going to use our Thunder Box. So it's just a metal, the flaps is nice and flat, and on this side is the lid. So you unflap it and make it into a nice square. Put the bag inside. And when you take the seat back over, you notice that it's routed out here. This is where the top of the metal is going to actually fit into the seat to keep it nice and sturdy. So kind of move it around until it's in the groove. And then there's a little turn here and that keeps everything in place. So now I can go like this. It's not falling off. There's a nice lid that covers the hole. It keeps the stink down. That's right. So inside of here, we'll put some kitty litter and a little tab to keep the stink down. And then a little tab just <laughs> that just fell in. in. <laughs> and then drop that on top. Well, good morning, guys. It is Monday morning. We caught some showers this morning. Wendy's just getting some pancakes, sausage, and eggs going. With that, today's plan, we're probably going to visit like the Nature Center, the Art Museum, some of those indoor things to start the day. It sounds like it'll dry up by noon, and then we can get out and do some hiking. I got this irking question. Canada, why do your gas pumps don't have a clicker? I don't get it. Anybody knows, put it in the comments. It just drives me nuts at every gas station. I just had to get that off my chest. Oh, the rain's picking up again. Living in a small trailer, what do you do when it rains? Well, you build shelter. <laughs> You're meant to be outside. So, got the wall kit up. We just have the Darchi with the two walls. But the nice thing about the Darchi walls is you got these panels, so we can let in as much natural light as possible. Way to get some water to do the dishes. <laughs> That works. It does. Thanks this, for easy cleanup. Is this clean Canadian water that's coming down? Sure. Yes. Yeah. This is why you make gutters right here. All that rain pools up on this uh, awning is not good for it. You're going to have some major problems. quick run through the visitor center and yeah it's still pouring out <laughs> I think we're gonna run into town and see if we can catch some lunch and then we come out and it dries up it's like one o'clock in the afternoon and right when we think we got a break to go out and get a hike all of a sudden it comes back again As it continues to pour, yes, I'm gonna head to the logging museum next. Good thing there's some indoor things to see. Yeah, indoor things are good right now. All right, let's see what this is all about. Time to eat. 
Well, I'm hiking in cracks today, which I've never done. Matt left a really good imprint in one mushy area. Then he wow. stepped on another, supposed to be a board to protect him from ending up in the water and his foot sunk like six inches. Beavers did a heck of a good job. Oh, look at, right there. I see a fox. Right there. Right there. Closer to us. Me? <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's true bog. You know it was a bog. I can't remember which bog it was. But yeah, it makes sense. You have all these spruce trees. Back to camp. And it's still raining. <laughs> It was raining when we left, and it's raining when we came back. Well, we uh, left this out in a rainstorm, and it's it's going to be done. <laughs> so this is what happens to the top in a rainstorm. Today is a reset day. And and what we found is the awning held up well the yes. darchi awning is amazing mm -hmm. the one thing we found is the new changing room <laughs> this is the second time we've had it has a so it's got time, a roof on it big time defect in my opinion engineering needs to go back to the drawing board <laughs> so it's got a flat roof on it and they put one pole across and that one pole it's not domed it needs to be domed it rained so much that all our neighbors have gone. So when we got back to camp, we had this really weird noise going on. We're a big fan of having the can. With our, You're a can fan? We're a can fan. This thing works absolutely great, but we found out not in a rainstorm. It doesn't like the rain. <laughs> it doesn't like the rain <laughs> We at left all. it out on the picnic table. We didn't put it under the shelter, which so we should have. So here's the sound. <laughs> Grinding away. It, it, did, was... it didn't like us leaving it home alone. <laughs> no. <laughs> it was crying. It's $10 on Amazon, so it was like it wasn't a huge loss. But putting the little can off to the side and let it cry itself to sleep. <laughs> Eventually the battery died. It said something about the top of these can be removed. And I do see some water moisture in the switch area. So if you were the one that reached out to me on that tip, um, comment down below. So then... <laughs> oh my goodness. We have the windows cracked a little bit, nice fresh air coming in, and all of a sudden I start smelling gas. And I'm like, what is that smell? And it smells like gas. And it like wasn't gas. him or me. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, this is natural gas. This is like propane gas. And I'm like getting nervous. And I'm like, okay, that's really strong. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. That's really strong. First he says, Actually, hey, Wendy, first look, tap Wendy. Look out the window. <laughs> look out the window, see if you see anything. I'm thinking a critter. What is it that you always make me look out the windows? I figured I'd sacrifice her to the bear first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure enough, she opens up the screens of the window and goes, oh my goodness, I can I can hear something hissing. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. So I jump out and ended up being this little regulator failed on our Camp Chef Mountain Everest two burner stove. Mm -hmm. This guy failed. So with this failing, there is a little overpressurization hole here. It was just pumping out of that hole. And the propane down after every time we use it and we try to get in that habit. This is a known part to fail on like every stove known to man, it seems like. And a bunch of these are on recall. So not ours. Not <laughs> of course not ours, right? It's three year old stove. So I already uh, looked on Amazon. I think I found one. The rain has finally stopped. Things are starting to dry a out a little bit. A little bit of a breeze, so things are drying out. So that's good. We'll get things spread out and dried out. Are we upset? <laughs> We've had all these setbacks. A full rain day. Our full rain day, our water pump going out, and our uh, stove is now dead. Um, no, we're it's still all part of the adventure. We're still having a lot of fun, guys. The first night, the curtain rod had fallen down oh, yeah. off of the side of the wall. So, so good duct old tape, gorilla tape. It had oh. to be gorilla tape. <laughs> but I think part of camping is overcoming those mm -hmm. little things. Definitely. Those little challenges, overcoming those things, is all part of that adventure. I mean, what would it be if you didn't have things to overcome? Uh, it would be boring, right? Right. But it's it's finding the ingenuity or coming up with a plan. 
to be able to make those things work and not have issues and to laugh about it and just kind of don't let it get you super stressed out because you could get so frustrated and mad and start getting angry at each other and that would make for a bad camping trip no. so we just you deal with it and make the best of it we are taking the e-bikes down the old rail trail taking a nice little e-bike rack meadows of ferns Absolutely. Having a ball. Likes him. Yeah, I'm still getting used to so much of bike. Like, yeah, it's a, you, a couple little uh, pedal strokes and you just go. Yeah. I love your helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Think of it right out of Star Wars. <laughs> I'm still getting used to the, like, this one, as soon as you start pedaling, like, you're off. Yeah, you're going. So, um,. I'm on two right now. He said make sure you go to zero when you start because otherwise people end up in the bushes because they go faster than they expect. Have fun yet? When he was doing some overland yes. stream water crossings. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but <laughs> Hey, we're back. What do you think? This has brought me back to when we used to mountain bike. You got her a little muddy. Just a little. <laughs> Shows how much fun I've been having. Yeah, no doubt. So well, we had ice cream like thing. every night this week? Um, it's at least three nights in a row. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. It's an anniversary week, so we got a splurge, right? Well, it is Wednesday morning and we're packing up. It's Wednesday morning and we're packing up. Uh, we had kind of, a, kind of had a rough night. Uh, Wendy had some heartburn from our dehydrated meal we made. Pre-packaged one. So, not eating that meal again. Um, so, she's been up big chunk of the night so we're going to uh just kind of chill we packed up the trailer stopped at rugged falls just outside the west gate and taking in a small waterfall just a short mile hike and enjoying some water and some bubbling brook time it's a windy happy place and then from there we're going to uh, hit the road we got to run to walmart resupply and then head to our next destination Got about a four hour drive day today, so I have to get going and uh, make some tracks. Well, we're at Walmart and we can't find the parts for the stove, so new stove in the cart. Coleman Classic 2 burner. We need to get through the trip and we've got the regular sitting at home already. So hopefully we can get our other one back in service. Well, we're in Sudsbury and we found a place that can refill our propane. We've been a WeBoost user for, I don't know how long has it been? A year. The reason we bought it is because there's times where we need to still stay connected. We only have one or two bars of signal and it takes one or two bars and boosts it to three or four bars. It's not going to take a zero signal and create a signal. We do not permanently attach it to the trailer. We do not permanently attach it to the truck. There's times where we've moved it to the truck to use and there's times we 
just keep it on the trailer and it's worked out well um i haven't had any complaints about it so would you buy this again i would buy it again mm -hmm. um i love it i think it does everything we want it to do you miss your real stove mm -hmm. i mean the coleman two burner classic isn't gonna do it i got you one for your 18th birthday so like 30 years ago this is the exact same design it has not improved at all <laughs> It is a great stove. It's been around a long time. It works. I didn't so, think I was going to go backwards and go back to it again, though. Turkey cheddars, some green beans, fresh that we got at a farmer's market, and then... Some onion and sweet potato. Onion and sweet potato. Kind of a hodgepodge there. Should be good. Steve will sleep. Ranger 800. Starting to get dusky out. Put it up in the air like that. Bugs go to the light and not to us. Well, tonight, this afternoon, didn't go the way we wanted it to. We're rain, at, rain, rain, go away. We're at Schutz Park. Provincial Park. Provincial Park. This was just a stop on our way from Sudsbury up to Pancake Bay. So we stopped here. We got some work done this morning. And then the afternoon, it was on off rain all afternoon. Uh, this is our anniversary today, so happy anniversary. Okay. And we decided to quick kind of eat and get back to camp, and try to catch the waterfalls tonight. So. What'd you find? Comfy little feet. Well, we're here at Pancake Bay, and the rain is just chasing us around Canada. This place is huge, 300 and some lots. So as we're driving in, we happen to run across another hiker, which is really cool. This was totally unexpected. They are doing a tour around Lake Superior, and we did a tour around Lake Huron, and it happens to be that we're both finishing up our trips right around Sault Ste. Marie. So Pancake Bay is about an hour north of Sault Ste. Marie. So. You can see behind me, really big. Pretty quiet back here too. This is the off-grid, no electric area. They have several different areas here. There's some electric, some non-electric. Um, some are on the tar, right against the beach. We're off in the, the sticks, but still a little bit of a walk, but we can get to the beach pretty easily. So this place is known for the beach. Uh, 1.5 miles of beach here, sandy beaches, clear water, and it's typically warmer because it is Pancake Bay. That Bay Area kind of holds that warmer water for a longer period of time. Lake Superior, if you know Lake Superior at all, it's very, very cold most of the year. Uh, even in the summertime, it's pretty chilly. So if Lake Superior hits the 60s, you're doing pretty good. So now that you've cooked with <laughs> this Coleman two burner for two days, three days? Three meals. Three meals. What's your... Uh, verdict it's okay it works it functions if our other one if there's more than just the regular later issue i could probably deal with this one for a while so if you guys want to see Wendy try a scottle <laughs> put it down in the comments because i'm trying to convince her to try a scottle something just different than the two burners yeah stuff. yeah let's see if that's something that she would enjoy and the rain comes down some Ben's rice side salad balsamic. They did warn us to keep a clean campsite. There's three bears in the area. And they've been roaming around the campground.
Look what we found, Matt. Just what you're looking for. Maple syrup in a maple leaf. <laughs> we'll see if it tastes any more. Uh, taste any more. See if it tastes any different than American <laughs> maple, syrup maple syrup from the maple trees that are just I'm across sure the lake. It's got kind lake. of a Canadian bacon taste. Oh, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Definitely be in this water. Is that warm? It's nice. Oh, yeah. yeah. But you're getting hit in the face with mist. Yeah, can you see? I can't get my eye open at this side. <laughs> so we got our pancake breakfast. We read some books mm -hmm. and just enjoyed some downtime at camp. Hoping for the rain to go away and not come again another day. Yeah, it's been. Uh, it rained most of the night, uh, on and off, some heavier showers. Forecast for Saturday, this is kind of our last day. I'm supposed to be driving home tomorrow, a six hour drive home. Um, forecast is not looking good, gray and gloomy, and kind of a mist. The mist is kind of developing over the lake and then blowing inland. And because we're right on the beach, it's misty all the time. Might head into town a little bit and uh, maybe get another apple town? fritter. Ooh, apple fritters sounds good. Those are delicious. <laughs> oh man, comfort food on a rainy day, right? <laughs> so after a quick little walk on the beach, we decided to go to the Canadian Carver. Okay, what's the forecast? So today's forecast is much different than yesterday. It is now a wet rock, which means it's been raining, and it's moving around. So there's wind and rain forecast for today. <laughs> not the ideal for a beach day. Nope, not at all. One yesterday. And we came back. They were so good. <laughs> it came back. <laughs> Just to see this place for a prayer. Look how big these things are. It's literally massive. <laughs> as big yum, as your hand. Yum, yum. Mm -hmm. Put your hand up there again. Oh, palm on my hand. Yeah. Wow. With real chunks of apple in there. Mm -hmm. Delicious. And then you're saying Monday you diet? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we're done on vacation by then. Yeah, exactly. Yep. It's good. Came out. Oh, oh crap! 